गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द ए टी पी एनर्जी साइकल सो हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट दिस ए टी पी सो वॉट इज ए टी पी द फुल फॉर्म मीन्स ए टी पी इट स्टैंड फॉर अ एडिनोसिन ट्राइफॉस्पिट विच इज अ एनर्जी कैरिंग मॉलिक्यूल विच आर जनरली फाउंड इन द सेल्स ऑफ ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स ठीक है सो इन एनी सेल्स इट रिक्वायर्स ए टी एनर्जी एंड दैट एनर्जी विल ऑलवेज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ ए टी पी सो वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस ए टी पी सो ए टी पी इज यूज टू कैप्चर स केमिकल एनर्जी विच आर जनरली ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ अ फूड मॉलिक्यूल्स मीन्स वेन वी ईट समथिंग और एनी थिंग आफ्टर एटिंग इट रिक्वायर मीन्स देर इज अ ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ अ फूड मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड आफ्टर अ ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ फूड मॉलिक्यूल इट प्रोड्यूसेस अ एनर्जी एंड दैट एनर्जी इज अ केमिकल एनर्जी एंड विच इज जनरली अ कैप्चर्ड बाय द this atp molecule which is um, very useful for uh, cells to do uh, some task okay so uh, when after the release of this chemical energy it is used to fuel other cellular processes like our uh, bike so it require a, a fuel which is in the form of uh, petrol so same like the cells which requires uh, energy which is in the form of a uh, atp so now the cells uh, that require a chemical energy for different different task like uh, to drive the metabolic reactions um, that would not occur automatically so um, basically some reactions they uh, can't means they are not a spontaneous means they are not uh, they cannot uh, move automatically so uh, if uh, if you want to move your hand uh, it require energy it can't move automatically so like that so this is um, so first task that is to drive the metabolic reactions that would not occur automatically then the second task uh, which requires energy that is to transport some needed substances across the membrane so suppose you want to do any work you require a energy so in case of this if you want to transport some substances some molecules across the membrane that time you require a atp that is a energy then third that is to do a mechanical work like uh, if you like as i told you before if you want to move your legs hands so it requires a energy so basically it is not a storage molecule for a chemical energy so uh, when energy uh, is um, needed uh, by the cells it is converted from a storage molecule into the atp now uh, within the uh, power plants of the cell means in mitochondria energy is used to add uh, one molecule of inorganic phosphate to a molecule of adenosine diphosphate that is a adp so i hope you guys know the general structure of atp so when uh, the energy carrying part of atp molecule is the triphosphate tail so you can see in this figure this so this is a um, this is a structure of atp or you can see here also so this is a structure of your atp molecule uh, so when um, the uh, this energy is carrying uh, a part of the atp molecule is the uh, triphosphate tail so three phosphate groups are joined by the covalent bond so this uh, this phosphate molecules are joined to one another by a covalent bond so uh, you uh, you guys heard about the covalent bond hydrogen bond okay so covalent bond are the strongest bond so then the electrons in these bonds they carry a energy okay uh, so uh, within the power plants as, as i told you uh, so within the power plants of the cell in which is mean, that is a mitochondria uh, energy is used to add a one molecule of inorganic phosphate that is a p to a molecule of adp means uh, this reaction is adp plus addition of phosphate that is inorganic phosphate plus there is also addition of energy which goes towards the atp molecule and the amount of energy is stored is about 7300 calories for every mole of a atp form so so if any reactions so uh, if any thing which you want to do it require energy so if you want to convert a adp to atp it requires how much energy so it requires 7300 calories for every mole of atp form okay 
so now um the uh, uh, are at the energy requiring site the phosphate group in the tail means the phosphate group which is present in the tail of your atp molecule is broken off and the energy in the bond then liberated now in second reaction you can see there is a uh, uh, means this reaction is fr uh, started from atp to adp plus p uh, p that is inorganic phosphate plus energy so what happens in this re uh, reactions so again there is about a 7300 calories of energy per mole per mole is released okay like same means in both the reactions it requires energy and same energy for um, conversion or to formation of a adp to atp or from atp to adp now the adp in the second reactions adp and the phosphate are then free uh, to return to the power plant and again be rejoined and in this way adp and atp are constantly being a recycle means uh, they are continuously being recycles means there is a formation of again atp then adp atp adp so this is a continuous uh, cycle for formation of atp to adp so you can see in this figure also so this is like a uh, cycle so you can see there is a uh, three phosphate molecules are attached to the tail of your atp molecule so there is also um, when uh, when uh, there is a release of phosphate means uh, in case of first reaction there is a release of phosphate uh, and then form again form a atp and in case of second reactions there is a formation of a uh, atp to adp means there is also a breakdown of this two means uh, in case of second reaction i can i told you that adp and the phosphate are free uh, to return the power plant and to be rejoined okay so um, this atp and uh, so this is generally figure of a atp ener uh, sorry atp energy cycle so uh, energy is needed for the as i told you okay energy is needed for the formation of atp and it is released as the atp you know is converted back to the adp and phosphate so you can see here there is a continuous reactions means uh, formation of atp from adp plus pi pi that is inorganic phosphate and adp2 uh, sorry inorganic phosphate and adp it again form a atp molecule so this is a continuous cycle you can see here the this cycle is used by the cells as a means of converting the large amount of energy in a food molecule into the smaller amount of energy which are needed to drive the synthetic reactions of a cells like formation of a sucrose means this is a cycle means there is a continuous uh, formation of atp from adp or adp from atp so what uh, how, why this requires so the cycles is generally used by converting the large amount of energy okay now we can see in the next figure there is also one detail okay so you can see in this figure um this is also a cycle so there is a means you can see as a st actual structure of your atp so uh, you guys know that um, atp is a nucleotide that consists of mainly three main structures like a nitrogen you can see here nitrogen base that is adenine so the, also there is one sugar and that sugar is a uh, uh, ribose and a chain of a three phosphate groups which are bound to the ribose okay so you can see here uh, the general structure sorry uh, general structure of a atp means which consists of three main parts like uh, first one that is nitrogen base you can see here that is so this structure nitrogen means means this structure sorry uh, this structure is for uh, adenine so this adenine is joined to a uh, ribose ribose it, what is ribose so you guys know ribose is a sugar then this sugar is joined to a three different uh, phosphate groups okay means this phosphate group they are bound to the ribose and the adenine now this phosphate tail of atp is the actual power source which is the cells uh, taps so this is the actual power source so phosphate group is very important 
now the available energy is contained in the bonds between the phosphates which are released when they are uh, broken so after there is a means if there is a breakdown of your phosphate molecules it releases uh, it releases what it really means these bonds uh, when it breaks there is a release of your energy which are occurs through the addition of water molecule so you can see here when this bond is going uh, broken down there is addition of a water molecule and with that process is generally called as a hydrolysis so this is a continuous cycle you can see here huh? now uh, this usually only um, when it happens so usually on only the outer phosphate is removed from the atp so you can see here the yellow portion means that a low phosphate group is always a uh, removed from the atp why to yield a energy so when this occur atp is converted to the adenine uh, diphosphate so you can see here there, there is only a uh there are only two phosphate molecules because there is one uh, phosphate molecules is removed that's why it converted into a adenine diphosphate so first that is adenine triphosphate after removal of one phosphate molecule it becomes a adenine diphosphate okay so this form of nucleotide having only only two phosphate you can see here okay so this um this is all about your atp energy cycle so if you have any problem you can uh, comment then i will uh, give you answers uh, also so this is all about your atp energy cycle okay